Hey guys, and welcome back to... Well, I'm still working on that, as it's actually only been a few days since I recorded that last set. Um, if you guys are actually curious, I just released episode 101 yesterday to give you a bit of a timeline. So, we're picking up pretty much right where we left off. Still have to finish up this tunnel. And... Figured I wanted to peek my head out real quick, see what time of day it is. Get another idea of how close we are, because it's actually been... I don't know, three or four days since I last recorded. Um, so, let's hop on out. I can see it's raining, so it might be a bit hard to get an idea of what time it is. Yep, definitely raining. Okay, so we are here. Uh, after I stopped recording, I started to extend the tunnel a little bit out here, just to get a little prep in. But it looks like we're almost there, so that's good. Although, from the looks of things, this is about all the dirt I have left, I think. There might be a little bit more in the chest. Back at the uh, mini station I made back there. But I think, just in case, this might actually be a good time to actually start replacing... Get up there. There we go. <clears throat> Some of the stuff we see here with the proper materials, such as glass and smooth stone. Now, there is a bit of a hitch when it comes to the glass, as I will show you once we get all the way down to the end of this hallway. And something that I would like to mention, it's sort of a request, came up in the comments a couple episodes back. Uh, someone wanted to know... Actually, we'll think about episodes back. It was in the 500 subscriber special, actually. I was wondering if I could figure out and name who the 500 subscriber was. And for those curious, it was a YouTube user by the name of Christian Anthony one So, Christian, once again, congratulations, and welcome to the channel, or show, or, you know, something. <laughs> So I guess everyone be sure to, I guess, drop off at his channel and give him some congratulations, too. I think that'd be kind of nice. So, as I was saying, the problem with the glass is that is my entire supply of glass and sand. I think I left eight sand up in the house, so we're going to do something about that. Oh, I do have dirt. Okay. I guess we can hold off on that, but I think it would be fun to... At least put up a little more glass. So, okay, so, I guess while we're doing this, there are a couple things that I realized I had failed to mention, or rather, wanted to say and then completely forgot about because, as I've mentioned to you guys before, when you're recording, part of your brain always seems to just turn off. Unless you're doing something equally, or at least unless you're doing something nice and mindless, like hold button, Hold other button. Hold button. Hold other button. Anyway, um, they mostly relate to the core server. One thing that I think should be kind of obvious, if if you have ever been someone who has asked why I have not released my map yet, or have asked for the seed, but for those of you who haven't, um, the obvious thing is that I would prefer in your exploration, in your running around the server, touring this world, if you do come across anything awesome that has been obviously missed in the LP so far, um, don't tell me. I, I really don't enjoy spoilers. It just kind of gets rid of the whole fun of, ooh, look what I found, because, for example, in episode 101, which you guys just saw yesterday, for me anyway, that golden apple we came across, which is still awesome. That had there been an easy way into that place, that if one of you guys had stumbled across it, checked out the chest and said, Ooh, hey Nocturne, you'll never guess what I found on your server. You need to go check this out now. You'll find a golden apple if you go to this dungeon, and it's just, wow. Well, I mean, that would have been cool and, I guess, somewhat helpful, but in a sense, it would have... I don't know, it would have ruined the fun of me coming across it and just... 
I think you guys understand what I'm saying. Just the, the fun of being able to come across it yourself is a lot of all the wonder and stuff like that. You know, I've always wondered, what happens to that part of water that falls in? Does it spread, or...? Hmm. Do it. Let's see. I'm staring at my notepad, in case you're wondering why there's nothing happening on the screen. Ah, yes, the other thing. Actually had nothing to do with the Torah server, but had to do with my question at the beginning of that ep of episode 101. Um, as far as titles go, new titles for the show, I have actually read most of the comments that have shown up as of tonight. And I see a lot of you do seem to agree with my Caver's Chronicles. There have been some other good ones. Um, I think someone did a slight variation in Miner's Chronicles. The only reason I didn't suggest something like that myself was that, I don't know, it seemed, at least to me, like something that would have already been done a few dozen times or something. Because, I mean, it's Minecraft, so Miner's Chronicles, it, it's an easy fit. And that's all for that glass. Okay. This is going to look nice, though. I will have to go out there and knock off the corner dirt just because there's absolutely no reason to put glass out there. Alright. Um, anyway, titles. Um, as I said, there have been some interesting ones, some good ones, and I'd like I also said, you guys have been kind of agreeing with mine. Um, I'm still going to think on it for a while, still going to give you guys an opportunity to make some suggestions. But I think once we do finally settle on something, or if you want sort of, I guess, hint hint, a way of making your idea possibly the one that is the one I choose, some help creating a new title screen for the show would be great, because whatever we come up with, I could take the current title screen, I could just open it up in GIMP and change the text to say whatever it is now, but I think an actual brand new title screen would, would be really nice just to, for going forward, to be a nice new change. So, if any of you out there are artistically inclined, I mean, there's, there's over 500 of you now, I hope, hope someone has some free time and is good with the Photoshop skills. Um, if you could go ahead and whip something up like that for me, that would be awesome. So, let's see. Um, oh yes, like, why did I walk all the way back here? I have dirt. <laughs> see, I told you guys, part of your brain just shuts right down. It's like, I can only do two or three things at once, and playing the game and talking to you guys, I think, occupied at least two of those slots. So... <laughs> Well, let's, let's jump right back over there. Okay. Back over here now. Sounds like it stopped raining. Although, I... Yeah, it's nighttime now. Oh, this should be fun. <laughs> uh, might have to go and light up. No, I guess I should be okay. Definitely gonna need a little bit of light down here, though, so... Uh, something else that I, I realized after the fact that maybe you guys will be commenting in the next episode when I... At least the next episode I'm going to put up, which will probably be like three episodes back by now, is uh, that maybe you guys will have pointed out that I didn't need to go all the way up for the walls. And... <laughs> you're just slow on the uptake sometimes, guys. But I did figure it out, so that's, that's the good thing, right? Mm. Okay, mouse. There you go. Okay. So, um, maybe I can just do, oh yes, this is much easier. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I guess it was night when it was raining after all. Uh-oh. I decided to leave my bow behind, because... I didn't think I was going to need it being underground digging a tunnel the whole time. Hmm. Yep, definitely no bow. And no coal either. Okay, so I'm out of torches. <laughs> a little disorganized today, guys. Sorry. But at least I have my diamond sword, so... That guy's pretty easy to take care of. Alright. And it's like I didn't even need to place the jack-o'-lantern now. Heh. <laughs> 
Hmm, okay, so... I'll say it again, since you may have not have heard me the first time. Something to talk about, possibly the 1.8 update, I guess, is a good topic. Uh, I have been following Notch and Jeb on Twitter, so I've been getting all kinds of teasers, but none of it really seems to come together as any sort of real big picture idea of what's coming. I mean, I know that there's supposed to be NPC villages or something like that. I actually just saw today Notch tweeted out that he's just about got the uh, new river code working in the terrain generator, and I gotta say, that's actually looking pretty nice. Some other things that I've seen show up. Hmm. It's actually pretty easy. Okay. Some other things. Uh, I think the big one, I guess, would be the Enderman. Um, I actually have no idea where that came from. And it's kind of a confusing thing to me. All I know is one day, Ko started tweeting pictures that had to do with people on Reddit talking about how unhappy they were with the possibility of what the Enderman meant for the game, and so... I feel like I'm a bit out of the loop on this, so... If you guys are interested, my note actually says, literally says Enderman WTF, so... That, that's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> if you guys could help shed any light on that, that would be nice. Oh. Um... Hmm. Did I... I may have made the roof too high. Hmm. I guess we're about to find out. I did. Hmm. Oops. So yes, other 1.8 update things. Uh, I guess from way back there was the new underground ravines that Notch sent a, tw a picture out about. Uh, there's supposed to be the new lighting, which... I don't know, based on the pictures I saw, I'm not too crazy about what's going on with that. I mean, I guess, I guess it'll make more difference. It'll be... Ugh, words not come out right. It might look better in person kind of thing. You know, once you actually sit down and play the new game, or the new update, new game. <laughs> But other than that, I, I feel like I am missing out on what exactly this whole update's about. So if you guys have any more insights, have gleaned any, any more information than that, then I would definitely like to hear about it. So that way I can, I don't know, maybe start thinking more about, more seriously, about this potential new SMP transition of DLP. And speaking of that, I actually noticed, actually on episode 101, since I just checked the comments today, was that someone was mentioning, I think it was X-Dependent, I'm not positive on, the, on that, I'm sure I'll throw up a note on the screen letting, letting you guys know whether I was right or wrong about that, um, but he was saying something about SMP LPs don't seem to work out too well, because people seem to get bored with it, or that the single-player ones always seem to work out better because you're not trying to compete with other people on the show. Or, I don't know. Um, for me, my only experience with an SMP LP, to be honest, it has been good. And I think he's done a great job with that. And my idea for an SMP LP is going to be kind of similar to that, where there's going to be a bunch of us on the server. We'll do things together from time to time, but for the most part, it will still kind of be a single-player experience. Um, we'll certainly try and attempt to do more multiplayer stuff together. What did I come back here for? Oh, coal. Durr. I need torches. <laughs> um, so yes, we'll try and do multiplayer stuff from time to time. Um, won't tr try to make it where it's nothing but single-player stuff going on, because, but... It's really all going to come down to timing, as I know that was the problem that Good had on his, was that every time he sat down to record, it was pretty much like he was the only one always on the server, so there was really never an option of doing things together, because 
the more people you get together, the harder it is to actually schedule people to all be at one place at one time. But I don't know. Um, we'll see how things go. Again, if things happen. I mean, I would love for this to happen. I just, as I explained in 97, that it's kind of a big investment to go into and be like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. And then two weeks in, you're like, this game sucks. Notch, what did you do? Um, yeah. So still kind of concerned about that. Um, I would love for it to happen. I just, again, concerned. That's better.